Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's nice to see you all again. So for today's video, I am doing a Q&A that I promised you guys a while back. So let's get started. So Jackie T, 6387, how are you doing? Asks, what are your hobbies? So you guys all know that I love video games. Played video games all my life. Um, obviously that's one. Um, another hobby I would say is golfing. When it's nice outside. Um, bowling, however. Bowling I haven't bowled in like two years. So I've I used to bowl all the time, like six days a week, but for many years. But uh, just haven't for the last couple of years, but I'll get back into it eventually. Um, I love watching movies. Um, I watch a lot of YouTube. And I lot, like to watch um, video game playthroughs of people that have played uh, video games that I've played and I like to see their experience on it and I recently signed up for Twitch um, to watch people as well play games um, I would love to stream but I just don't have the technology for it and I don't have the proper setup at my house so maybe in the future I would love to do that in the future is stream um, I love to go for walks on beautiful days. Um, I like to go to the gym. I hit the gym about four to five times a week, four to five days a week. Um, I love to go to restaurants, try different types of foods. Not a 
at the moment. Um, how many siblings do you have? I have two brothers, one older and one younger, so I'm the middle. Um, and Giggle Garrett ASMR asks, you think you would could survive a scary movie I would like to think that I would or could um, but in all reality I'd probably die within 10 seconds <laughs> and if you were stranded on an island what four movie characters would you want there with you Man, that's a hard question. Well, I don't know if this counts, but I would choose, um, because they recently made a movie for Resident Evil called Resident Evil Death Island. So I would choose my top four favorite Resident Evil characters, which is Jill Valentine, Barry Burton, uh, Leon Kennedy and Claire Redfield. I would choose those four characters because all four of them experienced an island. In fact, Claire experienced an island three times. Code Veronica, Revelations 2, and Death Island. I think she was in Death Island. Yeah. I've only seen the movie once, so I'll have to think. But yeah. Um... If I were to choose for, like, movie characters, actual movie characters, oh, man. I would say... Sidney Prescott from Scream. Um, James Bond. <laughs> Rambo. Even though I've never seen a single Rambo movie. Um, <laughs> Hercules <laughs> I don't know I would say that for like actual movie characters um, um, next question uh, let's see where was I again uh, And if you could change your name, what would you pick? Okay. Oddly enough, I actually thought about this a long time, a while back. After I played the first Outlast game, um, I just thought his name was really cool. He's the only survivor in the first Outlast, and he was on the DLC Whistleblower. His name is Waylon Park. I just thought that was such a cool name. I don't know why. <laughs> I just feel like it flows together, you know, Wayland Park. Um, I would probably change my name to Wayland Park. I don't know, it's kind of random, but... <laughs> um, but um, that is actually all the questions. I know this feels like a short video. Yeah, I have a question for you guys, actually. I've asked a few of my friends this before. Um, what would you guys, what do you think would be the most difficult to survive in Raccoon City, a city with infested zombies all over the place, or the creepy and scary town of Silent Hill? Answer me that. I, myself, would say the easiest to survive in would be Raccoon City because zombies are so predictable. They're out for blood. They're after your flesh, right? So, if you, as long as you have a shotgun with plenty of ammo or any other gun, I feel like the shotgun would be the most effective. At least in 
in my experience playing video games. <laughs> um, yeah, it would be pretty easy. They're slow. They move around. Of course, you do have those dogs, zombie dogs. Um, but mainly zombies. I would, I would choose Raccoon City. I just feel like it would be very difficult to survive in Silent Hill because there's so many aspects. It's all psychological. Um, and I feel like I would lose my mind very easily. I don't know. Um, and you, there's no escape Silent Hill, really, because everything's, like, blocked off, and at least in the games. But, yeah, the psychological part is probably the scariest part, because that can happen in real life, you know, with your mind, you know, going crazy on you. And, but yeah, that'd be, it'd be very interesting to be in that. It'd be scary to be in that predicament, though. But, um, I'm going to end the video here. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for the questions. Um, I might do a Q&A part two if you guys are interested in that. Um, I know this felt like a kind of a short video, but... Um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you would like to see next. Um, until then, have a great day, you guys. Take care.